Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Low Carb Cocktails. I'm Frank, the Low Carb Cocktail Guy. Today I brought a friend along again, if you've seen some of my other videos, my margarita video, and I think maybe my triple sec video, yep. I think yep. so. Um, Mr. Barry, the Cajun Keto Chef. Now he kind of wanted to start playing around in cocktails a little bit at home, so I said, hey, I'm shooting a video, why don't you come by and uh, see how I'm making Baileys. Making a low carb Irish cream, that's what we're doing today, yep. so we're making a Baileys. That's it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So in my mason jar, my big ass mason jar, and I'll leave a link below to a video on how to set up your home bar on a budget. You don't need all these fancy bar tools. So just get a big ass mason jar. So this one holds um, four cups of liquid. So in here I have my dry ingredients, which is gonna be a half teaspoon of unsweetened cocoa powder, a quarter cup of brown swerve, and a quarter cup of allulose is already in here. Now I have seen some recipes where they use only the brown swerve or only uh, a stevia, some type of sweetener. And I find that it's a little bit much on either aspect. If you're using just sweetener by itself, it turns out a little sweet than I think, and if you're using just a brown swerve, it's a little too bold. Right. So we're kind of going to go in the middle with that. So because some recipes call for a half cup of the sweetener or a half cup of the brown swerve, we're cutting that in half, splitting the difference and doing a quarter cup of each. Now, for the rest of the fun stuff, we're gonna need some coffee. I got some coffee right there. Mr. Barry, grab that. So we're gonna add a half cup of brewed coffee. Now, all over the internet, you're gonna find use an instant coffee. I don't like the way instant coffee tastes. Uh, then you'll some people say use cold brew, uh, and you can use cold brew, and that's okay. So it, you can do that if you like. But what I find that is, what, what, what's the coffee you drink at home? What brand? Mainly community. Community coffee. Uh, at, we're a Starbucks coffee over here at my house. We're, we're, we're a little bougie. Yeah. <laughs> so we're a little bougie. We do uh, Starbucks coffee here at our house. So I find, I'll tell you is, use the coffee you like. Just brew your pot of coffee. We had coffee this morning yep. when we're editing your video. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so just brewed coffee. This is some brewed Starbucks Pike. So we're gonna do a half a cup of that. So now we're gonna add the cream portion of that. And that is going to be one cup of heavy cream. And we have one cup of heavy cream. We're gonna drop that in there for me. I'll put this back. Yeah. Doing my part. Yeah, I'm putting you to work. Putting you to work. So next we're gonna be going with um, a half a teaspoon of almond extract and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. The spoons are right there. So we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of each of these. So I didn't realize at first that there was like cocoa and vanilla and almond in this. So, you know, hey, learn something new. So yep, yeah, that's the half teaspoon. This is the almond. But every recipe I've seen have the cocoa, have the vanilla, have the almond, so we're rolling with that. So this is like a combination of three or four different recipes I found. And this all got started with um, a guy on Reddit who posted his version of a Bailey's Irish cream. Um, Hibernian Ghost was his, uh, was his name on Instagram. Oh. Reddit. On, on Reddit, yeah, on, on Reddit. Too many social media platforms I'm on. Um, so he kind of posted his recipe up there and I said, hey man, do you mind if I use this? He said, no, go right ahead. So this is to you, guy, this is, this is awesome. Thanks for putting it out there and getting me inspired to do this. But I did find a few other recipes and I kind of tweaked them around myself. He used a cold brew mm -hmm. um, and his ratios were a little bit different on these other things. So we're, we'll be doing this. So now, the next part is gonna be this your whiskey, your Irish whiskey. And I've seen some videos of people going, you know, um, we're gonna use vodka, we're gonna use rum, but they still thumbnail it and title it as Irish whiskey or as an Irish cream. So uh, we're not, we're using Irish whiskey. Of course, right there, Jameson's, two over, there you go, green bottle. There you go. Jameson's Irish Whiskey. Um, you can do a couple of different brands, but this is like, you know, your base Irish whiskey, Tastes great, you can't go wrong. If you're looking for Irish whiskey, to, to grab a bottle of Jameson's. Now I think Jameson's does make a cold, or make a like a coffee barrel something, some type of coffee brew Irish whiskey. And you probably can use that and leave out the coffee. I don't know, something you can play with. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start off with, no, no, my measuring cup right here. It's got the cream in it. 
Now with this here, again, I've seen some different ratios on a whiskey. So we're gonna start off with a half a cup and some people say a full cup. So we're gonna start with a half cup. We're gonna taste it, see how it comes out and we'll go from there. So we're gonna start off with a half cup, I'll turn it this way so I can see, of Irish whiskey. This is the fun part. I suggest you back up. Yeah, because you don't have the lid, I think. Yeah, I have the lid, but I can't find my ring. Yeah. So we're going to shake this up and hope for the best. <laughs> so put that on a tight, squeeze that up really good. Let's get that and let's see what the hell happens. I don't know. Now, there's a couple of different methods that uh, I've seen some people say, put it in a blender. Some people say, uh, put it on the stove and put it all together on a stove. And some people say, just shake it. We're going with the easy method. We don't want to try making anything really hard or complicated. So um, let's kind of see. Where are we at? Where are we at? Taste test. Uh, yep, yep, yep. The little pretty glass. Mm -hmm. So. Taste it. Tell me what you think. Dang. I think it needs more whiskey. Well. I, I, I mean, it's it delicious. Good. It's really good. But I'm really not picking up the Irish whiskey. So we're gonna put another half cup in this. And we're gonna shake it and see where we're at. So, so far on our ingredients, as I mentioned earlier, and I'll throw them down in the description below, we ended up with this makes a one cup of Irish whiskey. And hey, not too bad, hey. You did good. I did good. Now, probably not this time. So that's only a whole nother story. I really need to get some new mason jars, the big ones. I don't want to get that kind of in there too much. So let's go with this. Now, this is one cup of Irish whiskey. That's Irish whiskey. That's what it is. That's it. That's it. No doubt. Now, and if you try this, and again, I like to taste my alcohol in my mixer. So if you taste it at a half cup and you think it's good, stay with that. Uh, I would maybe jump up to another quarter cup, making it three quarters cup, um, if you're not really into a, a good strong drink. Because this is great on ice by itself. And that's why I went with a full cup. Now, if I'm using it strictly as a mixer, I probably would tone that down a little bit so some of the other flavors play through heavier. Right. I want the whiskey to play through a little heavier than the cocoa, than the vanilla, than the almond, than the other sweeteners. So that's why I chose to add a full cup of the whiskey instead. But um, because I will be drinking this on ice. So. Just in a few minutes. Uh, just in a few minutes, guys. So that's great. So this is our low carb and uh, it's keto friendly. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, heavy cream. Where are we on carbs on heavy cream? It's, I know it's low, it's oh, a yeah, big thing on keto. One, one gram of carbs per tablespoon, math, math, math. It'll be in the description below. But, um, so yeah, uh, Irish whiskey, no carbs. The Swerve Brown, it's a sugar alcohol, so no carbs. All you lose, no carbs. Brewed coffee, no carbs. Almond extract, limit uh, vanilla extract, no carbs. So the only carbs will be coming from the heavy cream. Dogs barking. Yep. Dogs barking. So the only carbs in this is gonna come direct, directly from the heavy cream itself. And that's gonna be a, what I did, full cup, eight ounces. So I'll have the math in the description, blah, 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 and we're done. So, um, so now, what I have coming up next, guys, is make sure you come back and check out my channel in, uh, three or four days, because I'll be having a bunch of Bailey cocktails um, mixed with some other things, oh, using yeah. using the Baileys as an ingredient, right. in, as a mixer as well. So that should come out great. So it is it is winter time, it's coming, it's coming up soon. Um, here in South Louisiana, um, we don't get winter. Don't get it much. We get, we get a cold February, Yeah, that's about it. So <laughs> with all everybody else, people out there up north who's already getting these really cold drops in temperatures, things like that. Um, Baileys is a great thing for holidays, and if you can batch this out, if you double this recipe and use a really big jar um, or whatever you can, um, and the one I use in my triple sec, which is like big old jar. So, but uh, you can serve this up into little smaller bottles as, as Christmas gifts for people. Oh, yeah. And that's what I did last year. Last year I did with my Kahlua. And, uh, oh, check out my Kahlua video. I'll, I'll have a link in the description below for that. Um, 
these little little like crafts, little things you make yourself, like little like just craft projects right. or making a, a, a mixer or a liqueur, make great holiday gifts oh, for yeah. people. So, Definitely. and I, I gave out a ton of, of my Kahlua last year. I um, think I'm gonna be doing some uh, some Baileys and some Kahlua this year as gifts with that. All right, guys, so that's it for me. Um, and guys, we just finished editing Mr. Barry's um, bread video. So that uh, check out his channel. There'll be a link in the description below to his bread video, which is up right now. Just went up. Just went up about an hour ago. That's why he's here. We were doing some yep. final editing and touch-ups on it. So guys, that's it for me. Y'all have a great day. And um, I think I'm gonna, I might finish this today. It's that damn good. Yeah. I'll be having a great day too. And you'll take some home. Oh, you'll be definitely. having a great day too. That's it. All right, guys. See y'all later.